Hi friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making another Disney recipe and today I am bringing you the Mickey pretzels. Uh, last week I did a little poll over on Instagram and on Twitter to ask if I should make the Mickey pretzels or the um, Cheshire cattails. And everybody went with the Mickey pretzels over on Instagram and on Twitter it was the opposite so I always say I don't want to disappoint anyone so I will be making both but today we're gonna to start with the Mickey pretzels I have all the ingredients ready and I'm gonna swing the camera around and we'll get started before I show you the ingredients, I actually just want to do this uh, first. I always forget, leave it for last, but I want to say, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Joanne. I started my channel last year. I, am make, I made Disney recipes all last year. I am doing that again this year, and I'm also adding some different content. I'm doing other cooking and baking recipes, what's for dinner ideas. Um, little bit of light vlogging <laughs> that's coming up it actually hasn't been on my channel yet also I am talking a lot more about my um, my son Michael who has autism so I hope that you like what you see here today and that you'll consider uh, joining the family and subscribing and thank you okay for this recipe we are going to need a half a cup of warm water i did not get it yet but i'm going to go ahead and do that you're going to need one uh, packet of active uh, dry yeast two tablespoons of light brown sugar one teaspoon of salt you're going to need four cups of flour and four cups plus one Yes, four cups plus one tablespoon of room temperature water divided, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. Uh, one fourth cup of baking soda, one large egg, and four teaspoons of kosher salt. So, first step is gonna be um, adding the warm water to the yeast and letting it sit for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I opened up the yeast going to put that in this bowl and I went ahead and got the warm water and we're going to pour that in here okay and let me just I'm just going to mix it a little bit okay so this has to sit for 10 minutes. So we'll just let that rest and we'll be right back. Okay friends, so it's been about 10 minutes. We are going to now add the brown sugar. Just make sure I get it all out. Okay, brown sugar and one teaspoon of salt. Okay. And we're gonna beat it on low speed. And we're gonna start adding in the uh, flour. Let's just do this first. Okay, so it is four cups of flour. So we're going to go ahead and mix that in and then we're going to switch it to the dough hook attachment and knead it for five minutes until the dough is smooth and elastic like. So let me just start this up and while I will go ahead and speed it up so you don't have to listen to this. <laughs> okay, I went ahead and put the uh, dough hook attachments on the mixer and I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, it says about five minutes. So 
that is all mixed. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get another uh, bowl and we're gonna spray it. Where is my spray? I'm gonna spray it with some uh, cooking spray so the dough does not stick to the bowl. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and place this dough. Now, in the, in the instructions, it does say to use the same bowl, but I'm gonna use this one. And it is sticking to me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna cover it with a cloth. We're gonna um, let it rise in a warm place for 30 minutes. Hopefully, it's, it's okay in this bowl. Let me just, um, let me rinse my hands. <laughs> over here, so here is the dough. We're gonna go ahead and um, cover it with a cloth and we're gonna let it rise in a warm place for uh, 30 minutes. So we will be back in a half hour and we will get these pretzels made. Okay, we're back. The dough is definitely, definitely rise. <laughs> definitely did rise um, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to um, roll out the dough and start working it into the Mickey Mouse shape now I wasn't sure how I was gonna do this so I actually just printed this out on a piece of paper I'm gonna use it as a template um, and then I'm gonna try to cut out you know the face of Mickey we'll see how it works I don't know <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go ahead and take this out. I hope that I have enough room here. I'm trying to do different areas of my kitchen <clears throat> because the lighting is so hard in this kitchen with the lighting and filming. But I do have <laughs> I do have a um, a tripod with a ring light, but I am terrible at using it. It's terrible. My son uses it more for his TikTok videos than I do. <laughs> okay. So now uh, I think it says, let's see. All right. Cut dough into eight equal pieces. You are uh, working with one piece at a time and then we're going to roll it into, they have roll it into a heart shape and then, you know, with a knife to score the Mickey shape into the dough. I am not sure um, about making a heart shape. So um, let me go get a um, knife so we can cut this. This says eight equal pieces. Hmm. Okay. Not sure about eight. <coughs> and I don't even know if this is going to cut through, but we're going to try. And I'm sorry for the noise. I am actually using a glass cutting board because I just prefer it. <laughs> I just prefer them. Okay, that's eight. How are we gonna do eight out of here? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with one. How about that? I'm gonna put these over off to the side. Let's see how big this rolls out to. Also, in the meantime, I already have on my stove top four cups of water boiling. Um, boiling, because we're gonna go ahead and um, after the water is boiling, we're gonna add the baking soda to it. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the Mickey shapes into that, um, the water and the baking soda. I don't know. To me, it seems thin. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna, uh, okay. All right, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna take, look it, it's not even, I may have made this Mickey face a little too big too. I wasn't really quite sure. I was gonna go ahead and use the Mickey cookie cutter, but I said, that's too small. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't want to make it too thin. I don't know. 
let's try this. Problem with filming over on this side of the kitchen is there's not as much space. Actually, I don't even think it matters because there's not enough space no matter where, <laughs> where I film. Uh, next thing, people, I'll be filming the, on the dining room table. Okay, yeah. Um, hmm. You know what? I wonder if I just make a smaller one. Let me think this through. Okay, so what I did was I just added more dough. Um, I'm not gonna worry about cutting it into eight equal steps and following the directions so carefully. What I'm gonna do is do it my way <laughs> um, and, and hopefully this will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace the Mickey Mouse face. And I wanted a smaller, pointier knife, but I have no idea where that went to. Probably in the dishwasher. <clears throat> but this is working, so. Now, my son, Michael, loves pretzels. <laughs> Just loves them, so I'm sure he's gonna be very happy <laughs> when he gets home from school and sees all these pretzels, although I don't think I'm gonna make that many because I am making it um, larger than what the recipe probably calls for. Okay, okay, not bad. So I'm just gonna smooth out the edges <clears throat> of the ears. Ah. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut the ears out. I'm gonna cut little circles. And I am gonna actually cut them pretty wide because I know probably when it bakes, it will, you know, expand. Okay, there we go, one. Of course, they're not going to be even. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just shape this one up, too. Okay. I hope I can get this off this board without breaking the little ears. <laughs> okay, so next thing, next, next thing, next, next thing that we're going to do is the smile. And I'm trying to remember <laughs> um, Mickey has little side things if I remember and I believe the eyes are like that let me go get a picture and just double check okay so yes definitely Mickey's mouth has little lines along the side this is harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and you know what? I probably, like I said, don't have the sharpest knife that I could be using. not exactly how I wanted it to look. Okay, yeah. Not exactly how I want it to look, but you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> okay, let me do the eyes now. Um, and they are going to be kind of like I need somebody who can draw. <clears throat> and I hope I can fit a nose in there. <laughs> oh my God. 
That looks a mess. <laughs> Wait, let me look at this picture again. <laughs> okay, not the best. <laughs> I went off camera to look at the picture. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best looking Mickey pretzel you're ever gonna see, but it has two eyes and nose and mouth and little ears, so we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the warm water, hot water in here with the baking soda. Um, so we could poach them for 15 seconds before transferring them to the um, baking sheet. Okay, let's go ahead and baking soda. Mix that in. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, so let's carefully try and lift this up. Oh boy, yeah, this isn't gonna go well. <laughs> no, it's not gonna go well. It is not gonna, you know what it reminds me of? The scream face from the, that horror movie, Scream? <laughs> Always fun here, isn't it? Okay. Maybe I could shape it back. <laughs> okay, 15 seconds. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'll tell you. I'm trying to think, like, I guess they must have, they must, well, Disney, of course, has people that can actually make these things the right way. <laughs> so I'm sure <clears throat> it's easier for them to make it. Let me get the baking sheet. I don't know how much more I could fit over here. This is the problem with this working space, but like I said, I think the light is a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna take that out. Very gently. Lift it over to the baking sheet. I am going to kind of reshape it best as I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a few more and see what we can get on the sheet and then we'll get them in the oven. Okay, so what I did this time was I kind of just scored the shape of the eyes in the, in the dough rather than cut. I think that was where I was making my mistake, but we will see. And then I did the nose and then the mouth and then I did the ears last. So, I don't know. Now, again, getting this off, <laughs> getting this off and into the bath. Let's see. Yeah, this is very hard. Maybe I need to put more flour on underneath on this um, cutting board. I think that's definitely what I do. I'm gonna need, well, let me get this off. Okay, right now I have three on the baking sheet. They don't look too bad. Not perfect, but that's the best I'm going to be able to do. I'm going to go ahead and let me get the egg. And we're going to go ahead and brush the egg with the salt over at the pretzels. So do I have? salt in there and okay. okay so that is going to go over the, you know what let me move this out of the way so you can see made quite a mess here today. <laughs> okay. Let's bring these babies over here. Okay, so we're just going to brush them and I think I put a little bit too much on the other one. Oops. This one reminds me of Scream. So this is a Scream Mickey. 
This one is better. Um, <laughs> about as good as they're gonna get. Okay. This one is, uh, I don't know. I guess it's okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna put them in an oven. It is, what was it? I think uh, 450. Oven is already preheated and it's about 10 minutes. So let's get these in and then we'll see what they look like after. Okay, they're done. <laughs> they don't look too bad. I would say probably this first one is the one that looks the most like a Mickey pretzel. <laughs> the rest, uh, are questionable. Uh, some really are thick. I guess I didn't roll out all the pieces the same. But nonetheless, I think, yeah, that looks definitely, yeah. Okay, guys, this is it, the Mickey Pretzels. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please comment below, share it. Hit the bell. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I post my next recipe or um, autism or what's for dinner or baking or cooking, anything. Um, but thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Have a great day. See you next week.